Comets are some of the most mesmerizing objects in the night sky, streaking through space with glowing tails that stretch for millions of kilometers. The brightest comets can light up the sky for months, like Hale-Bopp did in 1997 for a full 18 months. There are famous comets like Halley's Comet that comes around every 76 years, but there are actually thousands of known comets in the solar system. And get this, we've actually sent probes to explore some comets up close, and you won't believe the things they've seen there. The ancient civilizations thought that comets were heavenly messengers, and in a way, they were right. These icy wanderers carry messages from the very dawn of the solar system about how our planets were created. So what exactly is a comet? What makes them so beautiful, and what have we learned from the missions that we've sent there? Well, stick around, because today, we're going to talk about some of the most beautiful objects in space, comets. Like asteroids and meteoroids, comets are space rocks. But comets are unique in that they are also made of ice and dust. And when they approach the sun, they develop a glow and a long, beautiful tail. Comets typically have an elliptical orbit, taking them from the distant outer reaches of the solar system, like the Oort cloud or the Kuiper belt, to close passes around the sun. Some comets complete an orbit in just a few years, and some take millions of years to complete an orbit. As a comet approaches the sun, it heats up and the ice begins to evaporate into clouds of gas. This creates that glow, the coma, around the comet's nucleus. As the coma is blown by the solar wind, it stretches far into space and is known as the tail. Often the comet will actually have two different tails, the dust tail and a gas tail. The tail of dust is left behind in the same path that the comet just came from, while the gas tail always points directly away from the sun. Although the comet nucleus, that actual ice and rock part at the core, may only be a few hundred meters across, the coma can grow to be as big as 15 times larger than Earth. The tail may extend over a million times further than that. Sometimes these comets are so massive that you can actually see them with the naked eye, usually at least one of those per year. Most comets come from the Oort cloud, the outermost region of the solar system, and they carry material that is left over from when the planets and the sun formed. When we study a comet, we're really studying a snapshot of the solar system's infancy. So since the 1970s, several countries have actually sent spacecraft to explore comets up close. We've even intentionally smashed probes into comets just to see what would happen. But the most impressive mission has probably been ESA's 2015 mission called Rosetta. It explored comet 67P and actually landed a small probe on the surface. This is what 67P looks like from here on Earth. This is what it looks like up close. Look at that dust and ice. It's like a cosmic snowstorm drifting against the background of stars. And we learned a lot from 67P. Rosetta discovered complex organic molecules on the comet. It discovered that water on 67P has a different isotopic ratio than Earth's, indicating that the water on Earth didn't come from comets, as some scientists had previously thought. The comet's porous, low-density nucleus supports theories that the planets gently group from one small pebble at a time in the cold, early solar system. And just look at these photos. It is absolutely stunning. So when the comets head to the sun from deep space, they are on these highly elliptical orbits, and it's like they're traveling downhill that entire time, getting faster and faster and faster, until they're traveling at dozens of kilometers a second. That's far faster than any rocket we've ever launched into space. If a comet were to hit Earth, it would cause catastrophic damage due to the speed. In July 1994, the world watched as comet Shoemaker-Levy slammed into Jupiter, going eight times faster than a space shuttle. It created fireballs on Jupiter that were larger than planet Earth, and five times hotter than the surface of the Sun. A comet impact is no joke. Thankfully, these fiery cosmic collisions are really rare. A comet's long orbit means that we're far more likely to see them pass by as a beautiful spectacle, rather than experience an impact, especially on Earth. So comets are a lot more than just beautiful wanderers. They are cosmic time capsules, carrying the secrets from the birth of our solar system. From the mysteries that they hold deep in their icy core to the awe-inspiring tales which stretch across our sky, comets are truly cosmic wonders. 
So if you like exploring space from right here on Earth, make sure you hit the subscribe button for more videos like these. I explore space mysteries, missions, and the amazing things we're learning about our universe here on Digital Astronaut. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.